you want to give us a bit of an insight into your background in terms of research and how you came into the type 1 diabetes space? Yeah, so thanks uh, again. Thanks for the intro, um, introduction and also the uh, invitation to be part of this. Um, so I'm an academic and also an entrepreneur. Um, I've, I'm originally from the UK, uh, so I did my PhD in exercise physiology, mainly focused around strategies to help people living with diabetes, both type one and type two diabetes or pre-diabetes exercise without barriers. Um, and when I started my PhD, so I, I don't have type one diabetes. Um, when I started, I didn't know too much about type one diabetes, but the more that I started working with people um, who were having to live with this on a daily basis and we were, um, organizing research visits and, and projects, speaking to people. Um, you could see that there was a real kind of um, lack of people who were studying uh, exercise and type 1 diabetes. Um, and also when I started meeting more and more people to take part in the projects, um, they would kind of say to me, I don't really know anybody either who lives with type one diabetes. Do you meet many people? And we would start building up these kind of support groups that were kind of uh, kind of social activities. We'd go out for meals, go out for drinks, other things. We'd organize events within the hospital, which were kind of educational. And combined with doing the, the projects where I was spending a lot of time with people and um these social activities i really started to appreciate some of the frustrations um of living with type 1 diabetes whereby almost everything that you do um can have a big impact on your glucose and uh um it kind of that was the big motivator for me to look after my phd to then travel to uh, focus on this specifically in in Toronto, where I was working as a researcher, and then I moved to uh, Switzerland uh, to kind of lead a, a research group around exercise and type one diabetes. Um, and when I was working with people at, at the beginning, we were looking at trying to get people who were doing basically no exercise or very little exercise to get to do um, the amount that would help them become healthier. And we were finding that it was uh, quite challenging sometimes um, around organizing the visits. We'd often have to uh, cancel the visits uh, if somebody experienced uh, a hypo or low blood glucose the night before or the morning of a session. Um, and then I was doing all of this work and then alongside of this, I, I saw one day a video of um, these athletes from Team Nova Nordisk who were cycling up a mountain. And I thought kind of that doesn't really match up with what I'm seeing on a daily basis. How are these guys managing to do that? And um, I got in touch with the team and I was um, fortunate enough to end up working with them. So I was in a position where I was working in kind of clinical research, uh, helping people to um, kind of understand the ways to get into exercise uh, from like an everyday level and then also on a professional level and what it takes to compete at that level um, and, and what those guys are um, doing on a day-to-day -day basis by which they can compete also manage their glucose safely um, and I learned a lot from those guys um, and then the most recent thing that I'm doing I um I co-founded a, uh, a startup which is aiming to um, help and simplify the way that um, exercise information is given to people living with type 1 and type 2 diabetes. So starting off with simplifying the data, and we can talk about that probably later on. There's a lot of data that it's possible to collect nowadays, and a lot of that can be overwhelming. A lot of that can be kind of thrust upon um, people and uh, there's this kind of assumption that they'll just deal with it. 
Um, and the other thing is around like education in context with the data and guidance in context with the data so that people are kind of not having to do those self experiments quite so much, not having to search online, that information can be um, more easily accessible. So yeah, that's that's me.